All right, Glasgow Regionals 2017. We're here with second place. Introduce yourself and tell us about your deck. Yeah, I'm JY Sharif, and I came second with uh, Light Swan, Shadol, not even Shadol actually, but Light Swan, Shiru Nui, Zombies, uh, Pred Plants, just everything. I played this deck of like, I like Infinite Regionals uh, this season, uh, come top four countless times. So I won a regional last weekend with this, uh, second today. Um, so yeah, we can just get into it really. All right. Uh, three of the best card in the deck. This is retarded. Uh, it's like domain for pendulum, domain for everything. Just book the extra zone they can't play. Uh, shout out to Grandpa Swan for the supers. Uh, free Raiden, self explanatory, just all around good card. Three wolves, uh, one Lila. The good thing now, like we play seven Light Swans, so you can hit them off Minerva a lot more often and it just increases the ceiling of the deck. Uh, for the most insane engine, the Predpon engine, three loan, um, three Scorpio. This is just stupid. Like, you resolve this, you win. Uh, it's insane the amount of advantage it gives you. And um, the Garnets, one, it's correct to play one. If you play two, you suck. I'm sorry. Uh, same with Garnet. You know, shout out to um, Bombo, Aurelian, rest in peace. Uh, <laughs> if you play two Garnet, you suck. I'm sorry. Uh, and then for the combo, one heroic challenge, a thousand blades, one trick clown. Most of the times you don't send this, but it's like if you have like snow is your number one priority with this deck. But if you have the snow, you'll send the clown. Uh, one giant rex. This is for gold sarcophagus, and uh, with snow is insane. Like you just so when it's banished, it specials itself basically. Yeah, uh, literally infinite free rank four fodder, link fodder. Um, like if you banish this with spirit mask and solitaire. You get like three level fours on the field. Uh, it just gives you infinite resources after you grass. Uh, three Goblin Berg um, just helps get the bricks out of your hand. Um, just all around good. You can add this back off Mrs. Radiant, which is like the best thing. Uh, nothing more to say, really good card. Uh, one Gofu. Uh, even though this is that one, this is still really good. You can make Omega with the Pred Plants. Uh, you can just OTK with Decode. And uh, yeah, this is just all around broken. It's retarded. Uh, free solitaire. This guy is just insane. Like the deck plays a lot of normals, but the normals have such high value. Like this makes an omega, and the omega will turn the Mizuki for next turn. So it gives you another rank four or another level eight, level eight synchro next turn. Uh, it's just insane. And uh, one spirit master. This can also be sent off, uh, banish off goals of So it's an out to um, Baguska going second, and out to like field spells or whatever. Just it's out to everything. Uh, the ultimate interruption, this and snow. And then uh, we play two Uni Zombie, three is Cloggy, uh, three Mizukis, and uh, one Gozuki. You play Gozuki because uh, it, it makes your like drawing like Mizuki and Solitaire really good. You can make two Omegas or Omega in a rank four. Uh, and then for the hand traps, three Ash, one Maxi. So we're playing regionals, we're playing against a huge variety of decks, Rogue. So you just want the hand traps up best against every deck. You don't want to draw dead hand traps. Uh, and let your side deal with game two and three against whatever deck you're playing. Uh, the best spell, one of the best spells in the game, free pod desires. This is just insane. It doesn't matter with all the garnets in the deck. You just accept that they get banished. But like, if you didn't resolve this, you're going to lose anyways. You know, uh, free brilliant. This spell is just, just insane. Like, I don't know. This has just been good forever. Like, and always will be good as long as it's not banned. Free secret charges. Shout out to Gramps again. These are just broken. Uh, like, if you mill like a Mizuki, a Wolf, Trick Clown, anything, you, it turns into like a plus two instantly or like a plus one. Uh, it's just really good. Uh, free recharges. I don't like this so much because it's not as consistent as it was before. Before you could draw both for Arcus and uh, it'd be like 95% that'd be live when you draw it. Now it's a lot less, but you have to play it. You just need a powerful card that you can resolve. Uh, two gold socks. I didn't play three because one, we only play two targets and you never want to draw multiples of this. Uh, just uh, gives you a free level four, outs the things, just a bit of an extender. It's good. Uh, free left arm offerings. This is just insane. Uh, it means you're playing four copies of grass, four copies of soul charge. These are all just win buttons. You literally resolve these, that's it, the game's over. Uh, yeah, and then the other one offs, one foolish, one rotor. Uh, for the side deck, I played infinite hand traps for just spiral. Uh, the gamma package, 
this is just really good going first and second. It's good against so many different decks. Um, negate hand traps and even just negate their, their monsters and stuff. And uh, the cool thing is, like, even going first, you can side this in and, like, if you have, like, a solitaire, you just make an Omega, keep this in hand. The Omega will leave your field, so it's kind of like you're playing side frames. And then you can negate their Helix or whatever. And then next turn, the Omega is pretty much game. Uh, three drawn lock birds and two Ogres. These are all self-explanatory for Spirals. Uh, three um, D barrier. This is just for going first against all these rogue decks. Pendulum as well makes that match up very easy. And uh, three evenly match going second against whatever deck. It's just insane. Do you ever consider playing Reaper as uh, another hand trap at all? Um, the, the, the issue is they get too cloggy, uh, and the extra deck space is so tight. That's my main problem. I like you know be able to play all the cards I want in my extra deck. But we'll see in the future what changes I'm going to make. Uh, I've played this, the same list for like three regionals now and top forward all of them uh, and won one of them. So yeah, for the extra, just Utopia package. This is really good. If they leave any monster in attack, it's just game. Like, they'll always be like less than a K, I mean less than 2K and then this is like half their life gone instantly. And rank fours are just so easy and free to make. This is great. Uh, sometimes this can be better against Spiral than Baguska just for the fact that Resort is like the best card. Uh, Baguska, just skill drain is pretty dumb. And then you can easily link it away to make Mrs. Radiant to kill them the turn after. Uh, one Minerva. I was playing two before, but there's no space now. And you only ever make another once. Usually you're making this guy to just lock down the game. And one Invoker for the Pred Plant combo. For the uh, Synchros, two Omega. Somehow this Dodger Boundless. Thanks Konami, I know you're watching out for me. Uh, they want to see me at Worlds again, I know it. And um, yeah, this card is just insane. It just it's like, it, it, it takes cards away from your opponent and gives cards, you know, to you. It's just, a, just perfect. Uh, one Michael, this is insane. Just removing, like, the purple poison magicians and stuff and removing field spells, removing everything. And just the fact that, like, it's a, it's a big stick, it removes a card and mills free, so it advances your game state. Like, it's such a, such a good card. Uh, one Black Crow is just for clearing fields. Uh, and then for the links, one brawl. This this is just insane. It doesn't come up too often, but when it does, it's, uh, it's, it's game breaking. Uh, you can just sit on it. I prefer this to Beals because the issue I had with Beals before is it clogs your extra zone. So you have to either banish it with snow or you just you're stagnant. You can't advance your game. Whereas this, you can take their monsters. Like I've taken their poison magicians and XCs with it. Uh, and like I have two link arrows now, so I can freely like make my rank fours and advance my own game state. Uh, one decode, just a solid link card. So you can tribute snows to protect your field and stuff. Uh, one Radiant, really good. You can add back Goblin Bergs. You can add back the um, Maxis. Sometimes they, they always slip on that. Like if you have a, if you Grass and you have a Maxine Grave and they like Geki, you just add back your Maxi and you're free to go. Um, yeah, it's just really good. And it boosts a lot of your guys for a challenger, everything. Uh, one Proxy, it's just uh, to make the decode with Gofu. And also, most times when you're just making a Gofu with like, I'm making a decode, sorry, with the level uh, level fours, you can just make this first, so you can have an extra card for Snow. And uh, one Seraph Knight. All right, cool. Um, any noble matchups or anything interesting uh, that came up today? Not really, like, no, no, no noble matchups. Like, I've been playing this deck for like a long time. It got me to Worlds last year. And, is already getting me back this year. Um, I don't know what the field is looking like for Prague. I might be playing this or something like this. Um, but yeah, it's just I've been playing this for so long and I've never been able to put my face behind the deck. This is finally nice to get a profile out there. Thanks for getting it. Cool. Thanks for watching, everyone. Uh, sorry, shout out. <laughs> yeah, shout out to uh, Andrew Swan, my sponsor, mentor, everything. And uh, shout out to the round table. You're all still snakes. I hate you all. Uh, yeah, that's pretty much it. All right, thanks guys, see you later.